winter is not that far off and my three EG4 6000 XP's that are set up in parallel need more solar. I currently have three arrays, one in each of the inverters, and now I want to populate the other three. So I am putting in a carport, a really, really big carport. I overbuilt it a little bit on purpose. I need to account for snow loads and it's quite a large structure. So I'll go over the dimensions and the build costs in my next video, but the roof will just be made out of solar. Here are the panels I chose. I got the 400 watt version and I got them from Signature Solar, a pallet of 36, which will fit perfectly on top of the carport for my roof. Well, I actually designed the carport to fit the panels, not the opposite. So now I will have 4,000 watts in every PV input for my EG4s. It's coming along quite nicely. I got uh, metal siding, the tin work's done, all I need to do is put the roof on. That gives you an idea from my front yard how large this carport will be. So I made myself a little sketch. The panels each are about 31 volts and 13 amps, 400 watts. But the carport needed to be 34 feet long and 22 feet across. And I wanted to get as much pitch out of it as possible. <laughs> But the carport came in, it's pretty high, but is not obstructing my other panels, which is good. Also, in the next video, I think I'm going to add up all my solar. You can't see it, but up on the hill to the right, I have 26 panels. Should have been 27, but I ruined one. Each panel is 330 watts. It's the panels from the solar trailer version 2. If you haven't watched that, check it out. The lower right, uh, those are 25 280 watt panels, the first set I had. The other ones I believe are 440 watts. Those are my three strings into the existing three EG4 6000 XP inverters. And this is what I came up with. This is my massive carport. So if you're interested in the build, please like, comment, subscribe, and come on back.